Okay, so Taurus, Taurus rising, Taurus ascendant, or if you have your first house in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is a very fixed sign, so you will probably notice that a lot of Taurus rising people are very, very stubborn. Once they have made their mind into something, they're never going to change it. Seriously, they're never going to change it. I know a lot of people would um, see Taurus rising people ruled by Venus. And that is true to a certain extent, but I see them more of ruling the earth, you know, ruling the earth, ruling the trees, those kinds of things. They are fixed to their roots, those kinds of scenario. Once the good thing about them is that once they have made their mind into something, they're really going to push through with it. They're never going to change their mind. So if they tell you that, hey, I'll be here for you, you know, that is like a promise that you can count them on. They really are going to be there for you. So, and the negative thing is that um, even though that the situation is not working anymore for them, even though the situation is not healthy and maybe quite negative, they're still going to stay and not do anything. The only time that a Taurus rising person is going to make changes or shifts in their life is that, you know, when they have been pushed to the limits, like they have no choice anymore but to make a change, but to do something about it. That is the only time that they're going to be changing their stuff. Taurus rising people rolls um, the jawline of a person. So you will notice that a lot of Taurus rising people have prominent jaw or, you know, their speech are a big factor to them. Because um, this second half of the head that we have is ruled by Taurus. And this is what Taurus is all about. So, you know, you will always find a lot of singers that are Taurus rising. Also, for Taurus rising, they have cancer in their third house. So they can be very sensitive with their speech. They can be very nurturing, very kind, very sensitive and delicate as well. And they can be too personal with how they communicate with people all at the same time. That is a part of that, that setup of being a Taurus rising person. That's why, you know, even though um, you just met them, you might see that they're very caring to you, sometimes overly caring as well, and that is their positive trait. They have a knack for um, having ideas um, that can actually make a lot of money because Taurus is still a possess possession house, you know. Taurus in, this, in the first house is like, you know, having ownership to money itself because Taurus um, is, um, their housing planet is actually the second house. And what is the second house all about? It's all, all about value, possession, money that we earn, those kinds of things. So when it goes over to the first house, it's like we're taking ownership of that money. We're having a lot of our ideas and how to earn money. So, I would say that if you have a Taurus rising friend, ask them for advice. Um, they can probably think of a whole range of ideas how you can earn more money. And, you know, that's always one of their perks as well. So um, you will also notice that how they react into, into things is quite slow. Taurus rising people are very slow and quite inert in a certain way. They are not really the type that likes past um, likes active action. They are more on the passive part of things, and so they can be very slow. And also, when it comes to changes, they're not gonna easily change. If ever they need to change on something, it takes them a whole lot of time. And you will notice that, you know, there, there should be someone pushing them to make a change. I know someone who is a Taurus rising and a person 
who has a、uh, Scorpio rising, you know, they are best friends as well. And that Taurus rising person never triggers change, but whenever being pushed by someone with a Scorpio rising, hey, let's quit our work. Or do something crazy. They always, you know, because of this person pushing them to make the change, they eventually think about it and do something as a result. Not immediately, though. It takes them time to decide, but they eventually make that action. They eventually make that decision. For Taurus rising people,、um, there is an important. Relationship with their home and family life. It's very important. Their home and family life is going to be、um, in possession of the Leo energy. So it has to be something they should be proud of. Very,、um, they really care about their own family. At the same time,、um, in some cases, there is a tendency that their family life is not really very comfortable. Because there's so much activity going on right there, and sometimes there could be clashes as well. Because this is the sign of Leo, and Leo likes to shine, likes to be out there. They don't like things to be very much quiet and all that. So sometimes that could be an issue, but for the most part, it is something that they always actively engage in their family matters, because it's what they're proud of. It is, you know, it's something that can they can really, you know, put a lot of time and energy with their own family. It could be also that their mother could have been a an important role model to them, that sort of stuff. Being ruled by Venus, not really on the sensual part, but more on the comfort side of life. That is why. Uh, Taurus people don't like change, don't like change, and don't like things that are that are that are risky, you know. And how they attract a person is more of you know,、um, I would say very smooth, you know. It is some sensual, but not in a more,、um, you know. It's not wherein Venus is in the sign of Libra. It has that refined and really seductress type of energy. Even though that they're not doing anything, you get drawn by them. But with Taurus rising, it's like they you see the energy of Venus in them, but. It's a lot more on a different energy. It's more of comfort side of life. It has a lot to do with the luxury, you know, feeling good, feeling better, feeling comfortable in their own skin, and that is really important for those that are in tours racing. Also, the way that they dress themselves and present themselves is going to be quite、um, natural. Because this is Taurus we're talking about. It's not all about the fancy stuff. It's all about、uh, you know being natural. And、um, also speaking of body and appearances,、um, Taurus rising people can be quite bulky, you know, and very very strong. Their body is very strong as well, and also they have a tendency to.、Um, Oh, self regenerate something like that. You know, it's easy for them to heal whenever they they get sick. Actually, they rarely get sick because they are very strong and healthy people. You know, this can also be different for each person. But essentially, this is you know their blueprint in life. They're very strong people, and yeah. Also, they're really good with their hands. They're very talented and very skillful. Also, they are more on the mind. You know, they don't like the physical activity. They like it. You know, maybe they can be.、Um, they like beauty as a whole. They like beauty and all that. But、um, it's not more about the physical. Interaction or or so like that. It's more of I want to stimulate you mentally. Their second house is Gemini, after all. So 
their activity, even though it has to do with hands. Like for example, um, maybe really really good with social media, or really really good with you know、um, being a singer, or being a musician, or、um, let's say. Being really good with some form of crafts, you know, it uses their hands, it uses their skills, but it's not as if their their whole body is moving. They're just either standing still or sitting still. That kind of energy, if that makes sense. So when it comes to their、um, love life and emotions, they can be very,、um, let's say. Very practical minded, you know. They're not really giving in to. It's not about feelings for those that are in the sign of、um, Taurus rising people. It's more of you know. It has to be practical. Can you marry me?、Um, can you support me? Those kinds of things,、um, and that is because Virgo is ruling their fifth house. So. Um, they might spend a lot of time in searching for the person that to be with the the person that they should be with, or you know, it, it could be as well that love life is not really the most important thing to them, or it could also be the most important thing to them. But they can be very picky. This is very good. We're talking about so they can be quite critical when it comes to their. Love life and love partner. They can be very.、Um, I would say it takes them quite a while to actually fall in love. It's not easy for them to fall in love, and sometimes they can easily always just see the negative things about a person, which is quite hard,、um, especially in terms of their love life. I mean, the fifth house is not just about love; it's about children. It's about being your childlike self. It's about、um, having a lot of fun. And with Virgo in their fifth house, it's like, yes, I do want to have fun, but I have to notice every single detail. And you know, you really cannot have so much fun in that. It's like there's always a reason not to do things. That kind of situation. Taurus rising people can be very protective、um, of themselves, so they don't like to just meddle with、um, any kind of people they don't trust. You need to build a relationship with them from scratch, so you need to earn their trust in the process. It's very important to them, and make sure you're not gonna ruin that. Connection. You're not gonna ruin that trust that they have given you. Also,、um, they have a low tolerance when it comes to、um, arguments. So, safe environment, harmonious environment is very important to Taurus rising people. So,、um, yeah, like I mentioned, trust is like a big factor to them. Also, when it comes to how they are in terms of their relationships,、um, they're not really overly active in seeking a partner. Not really so much. That's probably because of their fifth house,、uh, being strict with the people that they meet, especially with the opposite sex. But.、Um, Once they do get into a relationship, they can be very loyal, very into that person. Very,、um, they can really be fixated with that person as well. Let's not forget that the opposite sign of the Taurus rising is going to be Scorpio. So sometimes there could be major transformation, a major crisis that is happening in their love lives or in their partnerships all at the same time. But how a, a, a Taurus rising person is going to handle this is more of a relaxed manner, not really too dramatic or or anything like that. I mean, they could be prone to drama, but not really so. I kind of feel that they really put it in words, you know, build everything inside of them. They're not really going to go overly. Overly reactive or overly dramatic, they do have Sagittarius in their eighth house, 
So this is more of a chill kind of energy. And they try to find solutions. They are more practical with how they deal with crisis situations and problems all at the same time. And what is it that I forgot to tell you guys? So, um, yeah, Taurus people are very, um, like say traditional and very practical in everything that they do, everything. Um, the only time that they become emotional is, you know, with their family, with how they talk and interact with people. But for the rest of it, um, not really so. It's like, you know, if they can solve it with their mind, everything is all good. <laughs> everything is all good. Very rarely that they get really too attached to a point wherein they get mentally, physically, and psychologically stop that rarely happens for those who have Taurus rising which I kind of envy about them you know also um yeah um when it comes to their work you know they can be very well known with whatever work that they do they they, they do have Aquarius at the top of their um of their chart, you know, Taurus rising always will have their tent house in Aquarius. So I have noticed that a lot of Taurus rising people really good with the internet, really good with computers. And, you know, what with their work, they can reach out to a whole lot of people. So that could be, you know, really becoming famous, a celebrity, or you can have your way to some form of networking situation as well. You could be really, okay, you're good with your speech. And you can really, you know, reach out to a whole lot of masses. So celebrity, really good um, programmer, let's say, or really good graphic designer. Those kinds of things are really in place. Something that helps a whole lot of people because, you know, Aquarius in the 10 house is like, it like ups your game to a humanitarian kind of thing. It does not always have to be computer related though. You can be, I would say anything that you want and you'll get a whole lot of clients with you. And that is, you know, one of the perks of, um, Taurus rising people. So, um, let's see. What else have I missed out? I'm pretty sure that I've tackled everything. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, um, crisis situation tends to happen to them quite suddenly, but they can, you know, navigate that energy. So I think this is it for my Taurus video. I do hope that this has given you all of the information that you need for this. Oh, before I forget, let's go with the celebrities of Taurus Rising. So when it comes to celebrities, I guess the first one I will have to say is Miley Cyrus. She has um, Taurus rising, but it's on the 29 degrees, so it's almost near Gemini already. But you will also see that Miley Cyrus has prominent jaw and lip line, but I guess She's actually very near to that Gemini or so, but you can actually see, um, you know, the vibration that she gives. She has the Midheaven tent house in Aquarius. So everything that she does, you know, people always notice it, that kind of scenario in place. Maria Carey is also a, um, Taurus rising person and I know with the moon and cancer right there, no wonder she has been really, really popular with her, her voice, her speech, and the way that she sings, you know, it affected a lot of people. And it always is very close to the heart as well, you know. Again, third house is cancer, moon in cancer. <laughs> so, you know, it's like the blending of energy to understand the dynamics going on here. Also, Maria Carey also has that jaw jawline prominent in her lips. And, you know, I kind of feel 
real, it's kind of feel funny that, you know, a lot of tourist rising people tend to post where it, the way that they post in photos is like they're always putting it in like that, raising up their jaw for some reason. And I do have my best friend who has a Taurus raising as well. And I noticed that her poses, um, a lot of them is raising up her jaw. I don't know if that is a thing for them. Robert Pattinson is also another one who is a Taurus rising. And this one is, you know, pure Taurus. He even has sun in Taurus as well. So he's very reserved and, you know, really strong, really, you know, sexy and all that as well. But, um, yeah, very reserved, very, even though he may not look like it, it's very traditional to the core all at the same time. And I, I think I, Dennis Richard is also has a very prominent jawline. So, um, yeah, I do have quite a bit of few here. Nikola Tesla, David Beckham, also a Taurus racing. Very, very Taurus person as well. So, um, yeah, that's a few celebrities that I have with you guys so you can relate to them. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, video on my Taurus rising. I tried to give you guys all the information that you need from it. So if you'd like this video and you'd like to learn more about um, this series and for more series to come, please do hit the like. You can share it or you can also subscribe to my channel for more so you get the latest updates whenever I post one.